a system of inequalities in a graph are shown above. Which section or sections of the graph could represent all of the solutions to the system? So here is the key. The first thing we need to do is make sure that both of our equations or both of our inequalities are in the y equals mx plus b form because that will let us easily see what the equation of the line is going to be and then hopefully allow us to use that to figure out which graph is which. And then we have to deal with how we shade in the regions based on the inequality that's given. So let's start with this top one. This is easy. Y is less than or equal to negative X. So this is like the line Y equals negative X. And if you remember from, you can put it in your graphing calculator if you want, but Y equals negative X looks like this. So that's going to be this line right here. So because this is less than or equal to Y equals negative X or less than or equal to negative X, when it's less than, we shade below the line, underneath it. That's make, that makes the y values less than the values of negative x when you plug in various x's. So I'm just going to shade this in. So we're going to shade in all of this. Next, we're going to look at the other line here. Now, this actually ends up being y is greater than 3 halves x plus 1 when we divide by 2. It ends up not mattering that much because we're, we know it's going to be this line right here. It's the only other line that's available. Also, we know it's got to be this line because this doesn't have the equal sign under it. And when you just have greater than or less than, you're going to have this dotted line. As opposed to when you have less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you have a solid line. So we know this line is going to be our second guy. And it's greater than in this case. And when it's greater than, you, shave, you shade above the line. So I'm going to shade above this line. We want to know what section or sections of the graph could represent all of the solutions to the system. So we want the points that solve both inequalities, that work for both. In other words, we want the section or sections that has the overlap, that whose shaded regions overlap. So here we had a blue, here we had red. They both overlap here, I'll make it purple in section R. You have both red and blue in this region. So the only region in this graph that satisfies both is section R. So choice A. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.